So, have you been wondering how to use the motion brush on runway? Well, you've just come to the right place. So today we are doing a very quick tutorial on the motion brush on runway. And basically all you have to do is just upload your file. And the only difference is that this time before you hit generate, you're just going to hit the motion brush first. And you're going to tell the AI exactly how you want the elements in your photo to move. So once you've uploaded your photo, the next thing that you need to hit is just the motion brush. Then it will take you to this interface just hit anywhere and you're going to be able to you know choose the movement for your elements as you can see we have five brushes so you can use the five brushes to make your the elements in the photo move in five different directions so as you can see we have the directional motion that is the x-axis the y-axis the z and the noise so the x is basically horizontal left right vertical is up and down the proximity that is the z-axis is how far your character moves from its in in initial position sorry and the noise is the um, um, the intensity at which the character moves so we're just going to start with the brush one and we're going to choose the girl's head and we want her to you know her head to turn uh facing the bunny in a way so we're just going to choose the horizontal axis on the left and we're going to assign also a noise parameter uh not just too much just a little so we're also going to choose brush two and choose the flowers and the vegetation and for this all we need to assign is the noise like how the intensity of their movement uh after that you're just going to choose also the butterflies let's see let's see the butterflies you're going to give it uh let them fly up and a bit of a noise parameter. Also, we're going to choose brush four and choose the bunny's eyes and head. You're just going to choose, a, you know, just a noise. In this case, they will move according to like the eyes. Maybe they'll just blink, that's it. So basically that's it. If it's something else, maybe clouds and all, you can just choose another brush and assign a gradient. So here we are done. We're just going to hit done. And we're going to hit generate so we just need to wait and see what we get for our video now it's ready let's see what uh, uh the video looks like uh yeah perfect as you can see the girl's head is turning the bunny you know our vegetation now actually that's pretty much okay but remember you can always go back and readjust these parameters so let's see what you get uh, once you use the motion brush and once you just use the normal just generate so we are going to upload a different photo and we're just going to hit generate directly and basically this is what you get as you can see her face even changes like it's not the same person anymore so we're just going to use the same image and hit motion brush and now we are going to all we want is for our character to jump up so remember in this case we are not going to use the z axis so the character will not move from its position it will just jump up uh so the girl will, we just want her to jump up so we're just going to uh click up on the vertical axis then for brush two you just want the flowers to move in any direction that doesn't matter so we're just going to give it a nice parameter we're just going to adjust the you know the noise that is the intensity of the movement just that and for brush three the butterflies the bunnies ears and eyes we're also just going to give them a noise parameter let them just move how they move but you know just a little movement so basically that's it uh and uh once your once you're you're done like once you're okay with everything that you've chosen i think that's it just hit done let's see now what we get so we wanted our girl to jump up like that's it not move from her position just jump up so you're just going to hit that and see no as you can see our girl is just jumping up our bunny is you know moving our flowers are going with the wind so if you're not okay with what you've gotten just hit uh the motion uh, the, sorry the motion brush the noise again and then you can just come back and readjust the parameters so you can keep doing this until you get exactly what you want and exactly how you want it that is the beauty of this so you don't have to go home with something that you do not really like so you can just keep readjusting until you get exactly what you want
Now, as you can see, the girl is jumping a bit higher. Uh, at least there is a bit more movement compared to the first one. So that's just it. Like basically, you can just keep readjusting until you get exactly what you want. And I feel like this is a much better choice than just hitting generate to get a much better quality of what you want.